And we're back. This is what we're going to say. Transgender hate mail. Homosexual hate mail. Atheist hate mail. Basically me reacting to a bunch of screen caps or YouTube and DeviantArt art that are uh, in responses, you know, comments. Excuse me. That are in responses to comments I made against these deviant lifestyles. Mm, and so a few other things. Trigger warning. Let's continue on with this girl. Talk about this other girl. The girl wants to be a boy. Talk about this other girl wants to be a boy. Um, say, you know, talk about, you know, trying to defend their position, but it's not working. Mm, you want? So first she says, I'm out. Oh, no. Sorry. This girl, the other girl wants to be a boy, is trying to have an actual conversation with you as opposed to an argument. You can just hit him or with, uh, but I'm right. Mm, when people are trying to listen to you, maybe you hear what they have to say as well. Mm, uh, other than the fact that you, you know, totally, 100% just uh, owns all mm, they said back at you. Mm, you know, they said, I'm not lying. See, man is different than male because I say it is. Mm, and I say, well, what about this? Mm, you know, like, oh, male pronouns here. This <laughs> is like, oh, no, they're not male pronouns. They're pronouns that are um, male like. <laughs> you know, they're male. <laughs> so, what? Uh, I say, but when you are right and they are wrong, seeing them defend the wrong side is frustrating. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what I say back. It's frustrating. And then the other girl says, what's stopping me from saying that? Mm -hmm. You are saying that, but you are wrong. Why are you right? looks like he is wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, we can normalize trans people being their best selves. Mm -hmm. Being your best self involves not transitioning. It involves learning to live with what body you have. Showing that you are more than your body. Through truth, mm -mm. you know, I like certain things. I don't like certain things. That's how you do it. Mm. It won't have to be like that. All I'm asking is for a little respect mm. of lies. No, mm -mm. I don't believe you're close to giving it to me. I appreciate that. I want, just want to be more open-minded. You want you to be more open-minded. I'm trying to be. I still don't believe in that any God exists. You got to learn that he does. I'm sorry. I just can't see why that could be true. How, why, why anyway, that could be true. Because mm, you're not looking at it right. But I still want people to do, to be respected. I didn't want to argue with them unless they are trying to use their religion to harm me or anyone else. I said, you will have to learn that he does exist. Just like you have to learn that lying about your biological sex is wrong. I'll never respect lies. People are their best selves without them. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. Well, now you know how I feel. How does it feel when you know, it's like when people are arguing the wrong side? It feels frustrating, I say. Like how I feel, this girl says. How it feels when no one leaves you. And they will never accept you for who you are. Mm, you don't. You don't love me. You just love who I want to be. Mm. What? Mm. The freak? Mm -mm -mm. What? Oh, mm. well, I don't know who she wants to be. That's that's a lie. Mm. I love her because I'm trying to stop her from messing around doing this horrible stuff that will basically you know, that it cause all kinds of problems. Shut out. Uh, trying to stop her from shutting out mm, reality here. Mm. You know, other girl that wants to be a boy is right, actually. Why engage with someone who is very clearly will never give you the same and very minimal respect for my life? Uh, that is all I ask for. Hopefully, you have your toxic mind. You leave your toxic mindset soon. You know, toxic with truth. <laughs> uh, yeah, it actually hurts to know that this has been beaten into your head so hard. You know, I say sorry, but I must continue to fight against this. You are lying about your biological sex. And, you know, you know what biological sex you are. That is wrong. I'll never expect lies, so instead of saying you are a man, you should say that you like certain style of dress or hair or certain activities that may be stereotypically male. It is. That may be stereotypically male, but obviously both males and females can you make, make use of them. That would be the truth. Mm. And you got the guy from uh, you know, the long hair from the science show. Very nice. Mm. Drawing stuff mm. in a little, little, little video mm. there. Nice. And I say, yeah, this is cute, but kind of risque nowadays. Because mm. yeah. you have, um, I think it's, uh, oh, no. Um, Cloud Kittington and Cherry Bazaar sharing uh, a milkshake. Mm, you know, they, they put two straws in the milkshake and they're drinking out this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, you know, I can't do that no more. You can't do that no more. That's nasty. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, she's someone says, "What's well, risky about that? They're only out, out on a date." Mm. And I say, certain. Certain germs can be passed that way, man. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't be sharing a milkshake. You can't be sharing, putting straws into two, the same container. You know, you certainly can be drinking off the same straw. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. don't do that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. You can't do that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Uh, someone said, I say, here we go. I say, they look cool. Someone made a grassy, the grass skirt on. You mean Lola, right? Like, yep, she's streaking. Mm -hmm. you know? 
a blonde dude from the science show again talking about superhero science there. Really nice. The long, long hair dude from the long. And someone says, for those wondering what happened to Alexander, like, oh, Alexander, the pregnant. Oh, oh, okay. This is the most likely fake story because it makes no sense. <laughs> okay. And this dude, I believe a dude, is making up, uh, basically making up a story to go along with the fake story that was on the story booth like channel. You know? And it's like, for those wondering about what happened to Alexander the pregnant boy, I'm one of his best friends. No, no, he's, no, he's not. After seven months of being pregnant, he went to labor. Seven months? <laughs> Seven months. Mm, that's not long enough. Uh, we, him, me, one of his cousins, and his parents went to the hospital. His cousin and I held Alexander out of his clothes. Alexander got on the delivery table and spread his legs apart. A doctor got into position and told Alexander to start pushing. After a long time, a baby boy slowly came out of Alexander's bottom. Both doing, uh, both are doing all right. And they is with his biological parents. Mm, like, what? <laughs> and I say, wow, that's impossible. <laughs> someone, someone, someone says, wow, that's impossible. First, I thought it was a fake story. After I saw your comment, I thought that you had a C-section. But it was a natural birth. Whoa. <laughs> someone says, yeah, the birth was natural. <laughs> Look, all birth would be because I don't have a boy's bottom natural. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> because the doctors felt that it was better to deliver the baby that way than trying. <laughs> Bullcrap. <laughs> Bullcrap. <laughs> a C-section. Just because the way the fake. Read more. Mm, you know, thank goodness he's all right," says somebody, and I'm like, "Bull crap!" <laughs> I, I, I'm here saying, "Bull crap!" It was a fake uterus. How could it contract? <laughs> also, how could his a hole stretch wide enough for a baby to come out? <laughs> it can't. It can't. Okay, <laughs> can't do it. It's impossible. <laughs> you know? No way. Someone said you guys. It was a very big baby. <laughs> I gotta get the stuff. I think I already talked about this, but I wanna, you know, I'm gonna talk about it again because it's important to talk about. It's important to say so. Yeah. Give me that other stuff. Mm -mm. There you go. How much time do we have? I got my props here. Mm, let's talk about this. How much time? We got time. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, oops, sorry. Don't want to disturb my cat. Sorry, cat. Carry on. It's all good. It's all good. All right, uh, basically, what do you say? What do you say? It's not a very big baby. Mm. So there wasn't too much stretching involved. Mm. Impossible. Uh, as for the rest, I'm not a doctor. So I can't tell you how any of it worked in the first place. Since I'm not a doctor, I immediately probably wouldn't understand if there's anyway, even if there was prior to me. Here's the deal. Uh, basically, an a-hole. I said, where your crap, you basically, your, your poo comes out. Mm. It's about, it gets about like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get about like this a little bit bigger than that okay if a baby were to to come through that it would not be viable <laughs> too small way too small okay this is uh, the um cervix and vulva okay on a female it gets bigger than this can get stretch out bigger than this okay that's how the baby comes out. That's how the baby. That's how it works. Okay, that's how it has to be. Only female person with ovaries and a uterus and a vulva can have children, make you know, gestate babies. Okay, because they they they're they're designed. Their bodies are designed to push them out. Okay, the uterus is muscles. Pushing is a muscle and pushes that out. Out of there with it's big enough. Okay, goes down you know, out the cervix. You know, it gets dilated enough. Out the vagina, out the vulva, it's wide, uh, wide enough. Okay, that's how that works. That's why it's like that. That's why humans are like that. <laughs> that's why it's designed like that. Okay, so it has to get like this. There's no way that a viable baby can come out of there. <laughs> Possible. That story is fake, and the story he added onto it is also fake. <laughs> My gosh, so sad to see that. That the stuff is just like, ugh. <laughs> it's just so sad. No. Hey, get her. How could it contract? You know, it's like, it's, you know, it's fake. Now, there have been instances, as far as I could tell, maybe. Maybe. I don't know about in real life. Maybe in real life. Where they're, they're starting to try to grow people in vats. <laughs> I don't think it's real. It, it's in science fiction, yes, they do. But <laughs> you know, real life, I don't know if that's really happening because um, that's very dangerous. <laughs> it might not work out. <laughs> you know, real life because it's just you know, you need the environment of a female's body to do it. <laughs> you know, 
but yeah, no, 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 no.